Hello everyone, thank you for joining this session. And in today's session, we'll share with you the highlights of the first quarter of 23 and um, we'll do some demo. So uh, I intend to do some demo for those main uh, features that we are uh, that included in uh, in both Primo and Primo VE release highlights. Uh, we are going to share the new barcode search, the new section we've added to the advanced search. Uh, share and demo also the a new capability to search uh, using uh, search uh, to do call number searches using the start with operator. We've added uh, to the my favorites a search box uh, to support a basic search and easily let users find their saved records. And um, we also, uh, as an, an additional nurse enhancement, improve the pagination to fit the needs that you raised. And of course, there are always uh, additional notable items. Okay, so uh, here uh, you can see in more details what is coming in both Primo and Primo VE uh, with this release. So we talk about the first, uh, uh, we, uh, the, the first uh, four bullets uh, we are going to also demo. Uh, in addition to that, uh, in addition to that, we've also um, um, had some configuration to support the additional personal settings for the new toggles we've added regarding to the recent search uh, history with the ability for users to save, uh, uh, to decide whether to save their search, uh, is search history or to whether to use it for uh, search suggestions. So we added the um, configuration to let you the libraries and uh, determine whether it should go by default or no or on or off for the users. So this something was asked and uh, a couple enhancements that we did to the area of the get it in the get it from other institution. We made sure that uh, uh, the list will be sorted alphabetically, also sensitive to the uh, user interface languages. So uh, these things I won't uh, be demo, but just be aware that uh, this is a, was a, the, the sorting was fixed to, to meet the needs of uh, alphabetical sort. In the Primo VE, uh, we've also improved the browse by um, including uh, a vocabulary uh, that uh, when including uh, uh, the ability to browse by geographical names. So uh, now we are allowing the user to browse by geographical name and support uh, with this that we are support. Before that, we were missing the 651 uh, terms uh, to that include those geographical names. Now we've added that vocabulary and uh, it is part of the browse. Uh, as for Unimark and CNMark, uh, you can see in the Primo VE release, uh, release note, I think the CNMark was released in the December release notes and Unimark now. Uh, there were a, a lot of uh, uh, changes and uh, mapping uh, as requested by the community, the, uh, the regional community, and uh, we've added that improvement. In the My Library card, we have added to the personal details also the country fields, so user can view their country or also they are have the ability if they are relocate to edit uh, from the My Library their country field. Um, and uh, one more uh, addition is um, we uh, to the to the requests and the booking requests we uh, we make. We make sure that uh, each one of these uh, forms will have a dedicated form description so you can guide differently uh, the user with the description, with a, a separated description for both the request and, uh, and the booking request. Uh, and uh, I, you have to know that um, this uh, uh, code label will also, can, can, uh, can also include uh, and HTML tags, if you want, uh, um, if you want to enhance or add the link or an image to to the description. Okay, so this is uh, covering uh, what is included in the February release notes for both. Hey, Nelly, we lost your audio.
Now you hear me? I now hear you, yes. Okay, I, can you tell me from where? So, you know, you know, it's okay, I, I, I will start. Is it from these slides? Yeah, it's no, it's from, the, it's, it's from the slide that you were just on. It just happened uh, a few seconds before I notified you. Yeah, okay. So, um, let's talk, I um, apologize for the audio issue. Okay, so uh, the rollout of the release, uh, the, uh, the release was on the sandbox starting January 22. For the Primo customer multi-channel production, it will be available in production in February. And for local customer, uh, we will have it available on February 19. Uh, for the Primo VE customer, you are expected to get a release on production on February 5th. And let's go ahead and drill down into uh, and go ahead and drill down into the barcode set. So barcode set was the nurse enhancement that the community uh, raised. Uh, and as you can see, we are now introducing a new barcode set search in the advanced search, a new section uh, uh, where user can fill in the barcode search and uh, and uh, can fill in the barcode and trigger a search. Um, I draw here a diagram to help you understand how it's work. I think uh, the more you understand, uh, maybe uh, 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 it's answer, uh, just behind the scene to, to let you know. So if Patron um, clicks on the barcode search, uh, uh, enter the barcode and click on the barcode, this uh, reach into Primo. Now here, it's important to have for us to mention Primo does not include uh, uh, information from the item level in its own uh, search engine uh, indexes. Therefore, uh, Primo is only uh, indexing information that is bibliographic information and also some holding uh, information that you can choose. Uh, we are not uh, going into the level of the item level. Therefore, uh, in order to be able to fetch base uh, to fetch information of the on the bibliographic record based on the item barcode what we are doing is actually we are sending a call to the alma uh, using alma services and api in order to get information from alma by the barcode once alma is searching uh, the bar the item barcode uh, she's she, it retrieves uh, inform it retrieves the information and it includes in it the MMSID, the associated bib record so primo is getting back from alma the relevant MMSID. we expect to get only one single record for that uh, be, uh, because the barcode should be unique and we expect to get it also from the local catalog. So if you, um, and a um, uh, question is, if you are also using a network zone, you will be able to see uh, uh, only uh, linked records from the network zone, uh, link, uh, link records from your uh, IZ, uh, li uh, IZ link records to the uh, network zone. But uh, that the scope of this feature was mainly on your local uh, uh, institution records. So, uh, uh, as I said, Alma is retrieving the MMSID, and then we expect to get one single record. And and once we get that, we display the results to the Primo to Primo to the user in Primo as a, a as a full display underneath the search barcode. Um, and I will do a demo. As I want to mention, this is available in both uh, Primo VE and Primo in the February release. It came from the nurse, also from the idea. And before I will do uh, the demo, I just want to share with you. Uh, so this is the display of the full display once the result is being uh, retrieved. This is the way the user will uh, look uh, at the barcode. Um, in the demo, I will share with you that since we are switching states technically, uh, there might be a slight of refresh, uh, uh, but this was uh, the design we didn't. We want to save the user additional click to go and enter the full record, uh, and I will share that. Um, more things to highlight before the demo. It is disabled out of the box. Uh, out of the, of the box as you need to in, uh, intrigued, uh, enable that. As I mentioned, we expect to get only similar records. The experience is really the same as the experience as we have the fetch item in the Primo, but there is a form to fill in and then uh, uh, there, while well, you're submitting the form, it, it's open in a new tab, so here we embedded it to be underneath. 
Uh, and uh, in the demo, I will uh, share what happened while we switch in, switching between the search criteria, which is the regular advanced uh, search form, and the barcode search. And I will and I'm short, and then I mentioned the scope is uh, locally. Uh, let me go ahead and do some demo on that. Okay. Um, so before uh, before we go into uh, uh, place around uh, with that one, uh, I, I want to share some. So if we're going to the advanced search uh, for my first time, as you can see, if I have the advanced search open, underneath there is the instructions that uh, you are uh, sharing with your users. Um, so for the first time for the barcode search, user enters the barcode search, you will, uh, they will be able to see also those instructions. So you can also, if you want, fill in information about uh, the barcode search here. So it's only appear on the first time. After I trigger a search, for instance, I want first to search for something in the advanced search, okay? So here you can see while we are searching the advanced search, and uh, the results as a brief results are seen here. If we switch among the tag, the search results will be uh, clean. Uh, if I didn't trigger any search here, uh, I'm, I'm going back, I will be able to see my recent uh, uh, search results. Uh, and this will be kept until I trigger uh, addition, uh, until I trigger a new search in which one of those uh, uh, search results. So we do, mm, mm, uh, this is the behavior we uh, introduce while switching uh, among those uh, new sections. Now, if I am triggering a barcode search, okay, so uh, as I said, this call, uh, you, you, you see a little bit refresh. Uh, so we did manage to bring a single record, uh, which is uh, supposed to be relevant and unique to that uh, to that barcode. And you can see if I open it here, this is the barcode that I search for uh, here, and uh, this is the one that was the MMS ID, the record that was retrieved. Uh, uh, and so this is the experience that user will have. Uh, if I go back to the search criteria, you will see that I no longer see the search results underneath. Uh, and uh, but if I do back to the barcode search, I will be able to see. So that this is uh, um, the user experience while switching. Uh, what else? Uh, if I'm using a permalink, it will save me a permalink. Uh, I don't. Okay, it will save me the permalink directly to that record. Uh, you can see here that uh, if you use a bet, go ahead and save these records. Uh, well, if I go ahead and enter a new one, um, it will uh, retrieve the um, the context of the page. Okay, so it will uh, show me the full records and in the context of the barcode. If I se selecting a permalink here. Uh, it will save me the full display as, as you are used to get this uh, experience. So this is uh, what I want to share with regarding to the barcode search, and I hope that the demo was uh, uh, clear enough. Okay, next. Uh, next is another NERS announcement. Um, a way uh, community want to be more, uh, to, to let the help user find uh, more accurately relevant results and better use the call number. As we know, the call number is really the uh, address of the bibliographic records. There are meaning to those first letters uh, as they are represent and they are may represent a range, a range of topics that user can search and navigate through. And uh, this is why we are now supporting the call number start with searches to allow user uh, to get information, to search for information in the range of those uh, uh, of those subjects that these uh, first letters uh, are represented. You can see here that uh, so far the start with operator was uh, only supported for title. Now we include also the holding call numbers. So the searches can be include holding call numbers starts with, and there you can enter the first letter as seen here. Uh, before I will go into the demo, I want to highlight that uh, it's not only supported in the advanced search for the customers that are also using the uh, pre filters, as you can see here. Uh, 
Uh, this is also can be supported. You can also choose to add the call number uh, to 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 the pre filters here. Uh, this is available both Primo and Primo VE. Just to mention, in the Primo back office, if you would like to enable that, it's disabled by default. You need to adjust some normalization rule for that, and you need to make sure to re-index the, uh, the data. In Primo VE, uh, in order to support this feature, we actually uh, added a, a new uh, search field to support the dedicated uh, way that starts with the uh, work in the index. So uh, this would added, uh, this is what was, what was added. And as we are now in the process of the semi-annual uh, semi uh, indexing uh, that's happened in the Primo VE, by the time of your production, you will have all the information already uh, index if you are testing and i saw in the list yesterday some customer asking if you are testing that on your sandbox make sure to index the relevant records to better test uh, uh, this let's do a demo okay so you will be able to see that for the operator starts with now we support two uh, fields holding call number and title and uh, if I go ahead and trigger holding call number st started with the, those uh, uh, letter with, with this subclass of the information, what, what I see here is uh, all of the records that their holding call number is indeed starts with the uh, BF, and we will see it here. So you can see this: the records start with the BF and additional records. And I, I, we, I can now easily go ahead and navigate the next records to see that they are all uh, starting with the call number BF as expected. Uh, and I think, uh, yeah, that it, there is an uh, option to go ahead and switch to the title, or uh, if I'm go ahead and. Uh, go ahead and play with this one contain I will get additional link and when I searching the holding call number I, I can have uh, the start with so this is actually uh, the development and allowing you more accurately uh, uh, get records relevant to the subclass uh, of the call number okay next next we wanted to allow uh, uh, okay so the support search in my favorites in the last, there was an idea on that. We also see it, see this enhancement um, being requested in the nurse enhancement in the last uh, uh, years, uh, but it didn't reach the, the final one to enhance. So we, oh, we wanted to, to make sure that it is in the roadmap. Uh, uh, so we won't have to ask it again. And it's also, we would, would like user to better use they serve their saved uh, records and uh, easily find records on that. Uh, we added this uh, search, as you can see here, the search in my favorites. Uh, we have to mention that uh, this search is really a basic search. It's more similar to the way you're doing uh, control find. You're doing like find uh, with exact. Uh, there will be no uh, smartness around the search, no uh, inflections, uh, nothing. It's really a basic search. Uh, and, and we are only searching on the title, offer, and the label, and the associated label. I will demo that. Uh, you don't have to activate it. It's going to be part of the saved records page. Uh, and let's do a demo on that. Um, so now I'm a guest user. Let me just, I, I won't be seeing that because it's only available for signed in user. Okay, so even I'm, if I'm now adding some records to my favorites uh, and I go ahead, I've added one, right? I'm going ahead, I, I, I don't see anything here. Weird because I don't see also my records that I've added. Maybe I forgot to click on that. Yes, yeah, so I said uh, you, we have this uh, something that we've developed uh, last uh, release, the ability to inform the user that I'm not signed in. Anyhow, when I'm going here, I don't see uh, I don't I don't see any record. I don't see the saved records. But if I'm going to be 
uh, login and be signed in. I see now uh, the new search in my favorite. I will wait until all of my favorites will be loaded. Okay, and now I can go ahead and search for uh, some words that I remember from the record that I want. And yes, I'm search for the decide and I have the book how we decide. And I can also go ahead and search for, uh, I can search for one of the things that are appearing in my label. So I have seven records in my label that are discussing save or risk. I can go ahead or I'll either choose to do it in the label or just go ahead and see that the word safe was retrieved because it was one of those uh, label here. Um, I just want to do another demo that explain why it, it's really a basic search. So if I'm searching for basic writing, for instance, um, I will get this one, but uh, if I will search for basic and Freud, I won't get it. It's really a basic search. We are not supporting uh, any keywords, uh, uh, distance is, is, is the smartness of the, it's more like find rather than search. Just uh, um, I'm sharing with you the way it's work because in our search engines, the regular one, we do calculate distance among words. Here we are more acting like a, a, a find because it's a search on the, on things on a database rather than in a, a solar index. Okay. So this was about uh, helping users find their uh, records in the saved records. Okay, improved pagination experience. This is another enhancement. This is another enhancement that we've headed uh, based on the feedback of the community. So far, before that release, uh, this was a the ability to set the number of results per page was at the bottom of the page. And now uh, we've been asked to edit also to the top of the results. So to avoid the, the, the needs for the user to scroll down and then change the setting. So you will be able that we uh, edit here and we change a bit the way the total records, the total number of results are up here. We display here the, 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 the results also is the range that being shared, uh, like the range out of the total number of results and you will see this expand icon which uh, while well, users selecting that allowing them to uh, change the number of results and if you change it for instance here if the range is 50 to 25 you will see that the uh, range will be calculated uh, differently and of course this should be synced with the, uh, the same uh, that we are displaying uh, at uh, the bottom of the page. Uh, this is available both in Primo and Primo V in the February release. It came from the nurse and the idea. Before I will do a demo, uh, uh, I just want to quickly review those, those bullets. So we talked about allowing you uh, select the results from the top of the page. Uh, we are calculating the range accordingly. Um, and it's synced to the bottom, the plan page is kept. Uh, and yeah, another thing that we have added uh, is the ability to save for signed in user their preference. So if I go ahead and I uh, select uh, a 25, for instance, as I'm signed in, uh, in the next session, next time that I will log in in Primo, uh, it will read from, uh, it will read my preference and uh, I will go ahead and uh, search and I will get 25 results because uh, it was saved in my in my session. Um, I just have to mention if I had guest user and I switch to 50 and then I signed in, we will take what is saved for the user as signed in. Uh, uh, so if I say if it saved 25, we will read the 25 and then uh, we'll share results as kept for the user. So this is something that also improve the pagination experience. Um, you don't have to do anything to activate. It's uh, it's by default and should be cross pages. Um, and uh, uh, before the demo, uh, another thing that we did as part of this nurse, uh, before while well, you had um, 
will, while users uh, scroll down the brief results. So uh, until the entire results were loading, there was a bit of sliding animation. It was uh, like a shift uh, right animation. I, I know that it disturbed the uh, uh, the community, so we remove, reduce that. So there is also this is also some improvement as part of the uh, enhancement of improving the pagination. So you can see here now that uh, uh, we have had uh, this one, uh, the range out of the results, and if I select now uh, ten records, okay. So the page will be loaded and 10 will be selected also here. If I switch now to number three, I will see the range being calculated all over again. And then I'm going back to uh, 50 results. And uh, you won't see even that sliding animation. Uh, there was a bit sliding animation to the right and now it's not being seen anymore uh, to the right. So uh, this was uh, the improvement, and it's also include the ability that the next time I I log in to that, uh, if I do a logged out, okay, if I stand out, now, and search something, as signed in. By default, it will be uh, the ten. Now, if I signed in again, it should show me now. Same search, but as 50, because this is the last preference that the system save, saved for me as signed in user. Um, let's see, indeed, you can see that now the 50 is the one that is being uh, saved for me. So I think with that, we really improved the pagination from uh, for the users. Okay. Default setting for the additional personal setting. We introduced uh, previously those two setting allow toggles in the personal setting allow user to determine whether to save their search history or whether to use their search history as part of the recent search suggestion. And now um, we had an issue with GDPR with the customer can didn't invoke that feature because they can't uh, uh, trigger uh, those uh, toggles to the user uh, enabled by default. So for that, in order to, to let you use this uh, feature, um, we added a new parameter. It's a default user search history off where you can define whether these toggles will be introduced to your user in uh, off or on uh, settings. Um, I have to say, if a customer already activate that and want also the to determine for user the settings, but and and don't harm any user that already uh, uh, sees encounter with that and uh, trigger their preference. We are now we also take into consideration while you are activating or using that, and not to override existing users. Uh, preference that have already saved that. So I uh, know that we are taking care of that as well. Or um, there uh, is now you can see in the My Library card, we've added a country field. So you can able, you go ahead, a user can go ahead and view the country. And if they're doing some kind of relocation, they can go ahead and edit it also from the My Library card. Uh, personal details and select the country, same country fields that are exist. So, uh, there will be a drop down of the list of countries, same as exposed in Alma, uh, also uh, be exposed to the user here. Um, more thing to mention. Um, previously, we had a nurse in Primo VE. Previously, we have a nurse in Primo VE to go ahead and uh, index the 505 dollar uh, T, the table of content title, as a title. Uh, and, and we understand it as a title and uh, by mistake index it as a title. It causes some uh, inaccuracy or it causes sometimes to the records to be retrieved, uh, to be ranked higher, Re records that, re that were retrieved based on the table of content title to be ranked higher rather than records that were uh, can be retrieved by the main title. 
first. So in order to tune this uh, a bit more, what we are doing now, we are indexing that as additional title, as not a title, so it will get the boost that additional title get and not as uh, the, the uh, more boost that the main title is getting. So this is uh, something that um, you will see. It's also coming with the semi-annual uh, indexing. Uh, it will be visible as well. Um, for the Prime of E, we did also some optimization in the collection discovery. Uh, we split the calls where we are fetching uh, collection items. Um, now, well, you will see we, we, in, in order to optimize the performance, well, we are displaying the collection item. We will display the items in the metadata sooner before the thumbnails are appear because we split the call. So you may see your item uh, titles before you will see the thumbnails over there. Uh, it's really a similar experience as you have in the brief results while the results are being seen and the thumbnails are, uh, can be retrieved a little, uh, a bit later. Uh, let, us, let us know your feedback on that. Uh, more things that uh, uh, we done, we've done, uh, while well, you are defining a local resource type, uh, we increased the number of conditions to support five conditions. Uh, so far it was four. Uh, you have to understand that each one of those are really uh, uh, affecting uh, our performance, but we do want to, uh, based on use cases that you are sharing with us, uh, we increase it to match, uh, uh, to match the rule. To, to match your needs. More uh, uh, fixes that we did now, the give us feedback tool previously in mobile. Uh, it, actually, the give us feedback tool in mobile is available only from the menu, from the user men menu uh, while opening over there. There is a, a entry in that menu. Since we opened the full records, we don't have access to this menu. Uh, we now added uh, at the bottom of the full display and uh, the link that give us feedback link to be uh, uh, to appear here. So it's going to be also supported in uh, mobile. So if a user uh, scroll down the full display, we'll be able to see the give us feedback and open the tool also from uh, mobile from the full display. Um, additional things that I want to note, uh, we are work, we are working very extensively to support you, the nurse. This is nurse from 2021. It's about the exact and only phrase. Uh, we worked for that for the November and for the February as we found some issues and uh, we've decided to release it and move it to the May release. Uh, the exact and only should be supported for title, creator and subject field. Uh, it should be also supported while you're uh, searching and clicking the hypertext linking for the, for the creator and subject field. So uh, there are a lot of use cases and scenario and we are like uh, unwrapping and making the exact as simple as, as it is with no inflection, with no search engine smartness capability. So uh, there is an intensive work on that and this was delayed to the May release. With regarding to the accessibility, I'd like to share that uh, uh, during December uh, we have uh, conducted uh, uh, additional external audit uh, with DECU. DECU is the company that uh, we uh, uh, we are working with. We are really satisfied with their input. Uh, so, uh, and they send us uh, and they send us their uh, documentation. Uh, we are now in the process of. Uh, uh, of making those documentation official, preparing the roadmap from the, uh, the issues that they mentioned uh, are becoming our accessibility roadmap for 2023. So we will also make this list available for you to, to see what is the roadmap. And uh, we are now in the bi bureaucracy of uh, adding some section like the 508 section to that document. So they will be published uh, uh, soon. Uh, and we wanted to state that as well. What is expected in the next quarter? In the next quarter, we are going to have additional uh, NERS uh, uh, improving the user session timeout. 
experience. That means that we are going to have a notification for the user when their session is about to time out. We are going to give them um, the ability to ex a button to extend the session to their current session to maximum. We are going to add there in the personal setting the My Library card a toggle where user can choose to extend their session. Uh, also for future sessions, uh, they can choose to 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 have that uh, uh, to, to to have that uh, trigger for them. Um, so this we regarding this nurse about the session timeout. We also going to have a new. Uh, a, UI uh, uh, component, uh, we call it a resource type filters. We previously call it as a ribbon. It was a little bit conflict. So you will have ability to have resource type filter underneath the search bar to easily uh, uh, let the user uh, select uh, 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 narrow their searches to a specific resource type. And if they want to have additional filter, like for secondary resource type, they can still use a resource type filter uh, facet for that. So this is also coming in um, in the next release. In Primo VE, as I said, the uh, exact and only uh, is going to be. We also will have the ability to custom the OTB resource types. So you will have more options to uh, change rules to resource type uh, that are coming with the OTB, not necessarily local resource type that you are uh, adding. We will have uh, the uh, link data offer card. In, uh, we will have a new info card for offer displaying the full records. And in the My Library card, we, we are going to have to let the user uh, filter and view finds uh, by their find status. Today, you they only see the active finds. They will be able to see their closed find or to see also finds that are in the status of transferred. Uh, so it's additional improvement. Okay, so so far I've covered everything that I wanted with regarding to that release. Let's go ahead and, and get some update with content and data excellence. In the data excellence, of course, uh, we want to share that this is intensive work and we are go ahead and supporting and scale up and increase the number of records with all of that meanings uh, of that. Uh, we are working on the data excellence. I believe that so far you've already uh, heard on this project. Uh, it's the ability to have uh, stronger services, better uh, connection, better uh, quality. Uh, it means that we are also working on the quality of that, but also making sure it will be better discoverable. Um, we also added uh, ebook central card chapter to CDI. Uh, we load these first records from ebook central to CDI. Uh, we regard into quick links. We increase the number of providers that we are working with. We regard into the quick links, so more provider are now working and that supporting this uh, uh, link to PDF or link to online uh, full text. Uh, we also increased the number of peer reviewed in CDI. We started in this number and we increased in about 45 million uh, more peer reviewed indication. It will be available for CDI. And of course, uh, we also uh, uh, keep on the uh, performance of the rights processing uh, to make sure that it's, it's going to be stable. As you can see, we are in the average of the 40. Uh, 45 hours for uh, per uh, uh, write processing, um, and also want to invite you to the roadmap webinar, which happened in the middle of February. The roadmap document will be soon, uh, I believe, beginning of February, will be published and available for you to see what is coming uh, this year. And uh, of course, not only the roadmap webinar, there is also uh, a Luna and Inglu that are, uh, uh, we are looking forward to see you and meet you and share with you uh, some uh, updates. And I think Scott, that uh, is all with this um, session and we are ready to get uh, to the tough question. <laughs> Scott, are you there? Okay, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Um, okay, so uh, we have some questions that have come in. Thank you very much for submitting those, everybody. 
Uh, first question is, when does the semi-annual Primo VE re-indexing actually start? I can find it. I can find in the Primo VE schedule, also on the second slide, when it's completed, but not when it starts. Will it always start on the same day for February and August VE re-indexing? So, we, we are starting the semi-annually on, on January, but um, we are doing it across all of the data center that we have. So, oh, I, th I believe that each data center starts in a specific uh, time, but mainly you should know that at the beginning of January, we are starting the, the semi-annual for all our database data set. As uh, it take, uh, the processes take longer, we are declaring that it is completed by February. But I can tell you uh, a, a dedicated uh, time for each institution when uh, they are starting. It's, it's a process that's run uh, uh, during this month. A job that we are running uh, side skipping also that it doesn't uh, harm any performance uh, of the productions. Okay. okay. Uh, the next question is, uh, what is total care um, on a previous slide about the release schedule and the sandbox production environments? Yeah, uh, total care are primo, total care are primo customer that are, uh, are not, uh, um, um, that we are doing their uh, administration for them. Okay, the primo back office customer that uh, well, they want to activate things and they, they don't want, I don't know if they don't want, this is this was the model that uh, they will get to their Primo back then, uh, uh, years ago, and uh, in order to, to do uh, more administrative, um, the, our support team is supporting them to do a lot of things. So they used to tend to get uh, the release a week after the sandbox, because they don't have any, they don't have sandbox to test. They are uh, being cared by us. And um, this was the meaning of that. Okay. Okay, uh, the next question is, uh, does barcode search work on partial matches? Barcode search? Uh, no, uh, I don't believe. Um, we are sending the, uh, we're not talking, uh, we're talking about barcode search, not column. No, we are, I, I believe that um, there is already an Alma LPI. You will be able to give the entire barcode uh, and, and we'll get that. I, I don't believe that they are doing a partial one, um, but um, you can, uh, we, um, the, I can send the API that we are using. It's an official API that Alma also have an external one. So to see if this is supported. This was not one of the requests that we also had. We are not supporting any stats with here. It just find the match as, as it is. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, the next question is, do you get a Ferberized record in the result the same way as you do when you search by MMSID? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe I'll ask uh, the, when the person that asked to send me and send me what he meant, so I will know to which feature they are meaning. You can send, uh, you can search for MMSID also to drill down into uh, the specific uh, Ferber record. So it's better for me to get uh, uh, more detail on that. I will show my email. You can send me and or, or ask, uh, oops, ask the support. Uh, for uh, the next... specific scenario, yeah. Okay. Uh, do you want to expand the slides again? Um, yeah. To... There you go. Uh, the next question is, uh, does the holding call number option disappear if you use the just article scope because articles do not have call numbers? Not sure. We make it sensitive. And, and, and we need to see, I, I'm not sure, I don't remember if the configuration of the search search is sensitive to the Selected scope. This is something to check. Okay. Another question is: uh, Is holding call number indexing just the H subfield in the eight fifty two fielding in the holdings? Um, I, I, please send it in the in the in the case or for more detail. Yeah, I, I or submit a case so we'll check that. Um, I'm not in these that details. Okay. Thanks for asking the tough questions. Um, I don't have any other questions uh, at this time. So 
Millie, if you want to make some concluding remarks, and if anybody else has any additional questions, just go ahead and submit them and we can address them. Um, yeah, so thank you for joining. I hope that you will enjoy those features. Give, give, please give us feedback for, for that. And so those you know, we also know that there is this nurse enhancement processing you are submitting. Uh, so we are curious to see the, your suggestions over there. Uh, we want to share that we are doing things that the community want and want to engage with you with that. And we have this roadmap webinar coming and roadmaps will be soon published. So we are excited to share it with you. And thank you. And thank you very much, Nilly. And um, I don't have any other questions. And if you didn't notice, I, I did push the, the last three links with regards to the webinar link and the Aluna link and the Igloo link into the chat session. So uh, feel free to uh, uh, seek out more information about those and register for the upcoming roadmap webinar. So thank you very much, everybody. Uh, have a pleasant day and take care wherever you may be. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.